Okay, my name is Kanok Yisrael. I'm from the Yisrael family urban farm and we're transforming the hood for good using urban agriculture to engage, employ, and empower the community. As you see at our booth here, we've got a planting demonstration. Do you guys want to plant something? Here, take one of these pots, one for you, one for you. Come right over here, there's some soil. Matter of fact, I'm gonna just bring it over here for you guys. Here's some seeds and soil right here. Fill up your pot right there with some soil. Uh-oh, somebody knocked something over. Okay, that's all right, that's all right. Go ahead, fill it up. You gotta take You gotta take this and fill it up. Take it and put it just like that. Bam, fill it up like that. Go ahead, there you go. Fill it up, fill it up, fill it up, fill it up. Yep, there you go. Here, let me fill you up just a little bit more and then we're going to have you to plant some seeds here. I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, what do you want? We've got spinach, we've got lettuce, we've got turnips, and we got corn. Which ones do you want? Which one? Corn? You want corn? So let's put your thing right here. Let me show you how to do it. You want to take and put a little hole like that, make a little hole there, like this. Yep. And then you want to grab you a couple of these here and then you want to drop them right in there like that. You want corn too? Which one do you want? Corn? Okay. Yep, drop a couple in there like that. And then here, cover it up. Cover the soil up. Cover it up just like that for yourself. And then, yep, cover it up and then tap it a little bit. And then you want to just keep it watered at home. It'll spout into a plant. And then you want to take your take and transfer it into a pot when it gets a little bit bigger. And you'll be all set. Beautiful, thank you. Yo, you're welcome. So what is your goal? Ha 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 ha. Ultimate goal. Well, the ultimate goal is really to um, is really to transform the hood for good, and that's kind of like an allegorical representation because when you think about composting, right? You think about taking that which people have discarded, right? And you take it and you apply it to the four forces of nature, such as air, water, heat, and then a little bit of soil, and then it turns into something life-giving again. So we think of it as like a divine composting process in our neighborhoods. And transforming the hood, a hood is something that's on your head. And when you have a hood on your head, what's happening? You're in darkness. Yeah. So transforming the hood for good yeah. is an acronym. Good is an acronym for growing our own destiny. So you're transforming the hood, meaning you're bringing light to those people in darkness for good, which is good, but then also for good, which means once you do it, it'll never go back to darkness again. So that's probably the first time that anybody's ever gotten to see that on tape. Because for the most part, most people just say, oh, that's a great slogan. But it's an esoteric understanding of what we're actually doing because we're the first people to ever grow food. We're the first people to ever put soil into the ground and take a seed and grow it into something. And so the way that it's taught in the United States now, it's only taught starting from slavery and starting from oppression. So many of our people stray away from it. But in actuality, if we all start to grow a little bit of something in our backyards, front yards, side yards, then we can immediately start to take over not only the economics in our communities, but then the, the, the biggest thing about agriculture is it's a culture. And so if you're talking about Sankofa, which is meaning reach back and fetch it, then what we need to reach back and fetch is the fact that we used to be the cultivators of the land. Culture in your stomach, eating naturally? Absolutely. There's a culture there. That's why there's certain bacteria and things that have to be there. So that's what agriculture is all about. So anyways, that's those are one of the goals. But right now, really, one of the main things is really to get the young people involved. You know, I'm halfway out of here. So to be able to take what I have and pass it back to the children, we have some of our youth from our Project Good Youth Mentorship Program there, staff in the booth. They actually know about the seeds. They're learning how to grow food. They're learning how to grow themselves and the community. Tell me about what you're doing in the neighborhood. Well, um, we're teaching people how to grow, grow their own food. Um, we're teaching people how to cook the food. So we have cooking classes where we're teaching you how to make good, healthy meals um, on a shoestring budget. 
And then at the same time, we have youth mentorship where we're teaching young people how to cook, we're teaching them how to grow food, we're teaching them how to grow themselves, and we're teaching them how to grow community using agriculture as like the allegory for all of that. So what's your website again, sir? Uh, www.yisraelfamilyfarm.net You're welcome, you're welcome.